my father there is no shadow of with you that not like compassion they feel not thou art thou art forever oh great is that faithfulness great is thy faithfulness Morning by morning, new mercies I see. Oh, yes. All I have need, that I hands has provided. Great is thy faithfulness. I just want you to worship God. God who has been so faithful. He brought us through the month of January. We overcome the month of February. All the way to September. Here we are. We are in the first Sunday of the month of October. God has been so great. If you understand what I mean. Many are perishing. Many are dying. Many slept nice nights. They are not woken up today. Many have been in prison physically, spiritually. Many are even in prison of their own mind. They, they know what to do, but they cannot do it. But you have the freedom to be in the presence of God. What a grateful God. What a marvelous God. What a powerful God. Just worship God anyhow you understand. If God has been with you, you've gone through surgery, God deliver you. You went to the hospital, you came back with your own two feet. He is by the grace of God. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord, we worship you again today for making it possible for us to see another fresh day, another fresh month. It's a month of open door, a month of breakthrough, a month of promotion, a month of opportunity. Why not worship God? God who kept you from January, from first month to the tenth month, is a great God. He saw you through the month of September with different harrow, with different bombardment. God says, I am still living. He said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Father, we worship you. Thank you for the answers prayer. Thank you for the one you are answering. Thank you for the one you will surely answer. Great is thy faithfulness. Let's worship God. Let's worship God. Thank Him because great is the faithfulness of God. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh Lord, my Father. There is no shadow of turning in you, O oh Lord. never change once you made a promise you say you will be with us and you never change you say you will provide for our needs and you provided for our needs you say you will give us good health and we have good health oh great is thy faith great is thy faithfulness more by morning, new mercies I see. Oh, worship God, worship God. All I have needed, die. Your hands have provided all I needed. You gave me the breath of life. You can use your lungs to breathe in and breathe out. Some people have to carry oxygen. Some people have to depend on somebody to live. But God has given you that freedom. Oh, great is your faithfulness. Lord, we worship you. We bless you. We thank you for how you have been keeping us. Thank you for all our family. Thank you for how you are protecting them. Thank you for all our members. Thank
thank you for how you have been preserving them. Thank you for everyone, those that gave their life to Jesus. How Jesus is still reigning in their life. Brothers and sisters, some people knew Jesus years back. He has become a story. Some people knew Jesus when they were young. They are now an atheist. Some people knew Jesus when they had trouble. But now they say, forget God. But you still have God. And you still come to his presence and say, God, great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness. Worship God, worship God. Bless the name of God. God has been faithful. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord God. By money, new mercies I cease. All I have needed, great is thy faithfulness, Lord. In Jesus' name. Worship. Everlasting Father, we worship you, we bless you. We thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your support. Thank you for how you have been by us. If not for you, who are we? The plan of the wicked one is we will not see the light of the day. But because of your power, because of your promise, because of your plan, here we are today to praise you, to worship you, and to adore you. Thank you for your faithfulness in our life. Thank you for your faithfulness in our home. Thank you for your faithfulness in this church because no matter what, Jesus is still reigning. Lord, we pray. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the young. Thank you for the old. Thank you for your promises that are yea and amen. Lord, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for bringing us to this new month, the month of open door, the month of opportunity, the month of breakthrough, the month of promotion. Thank you because of all these promises are yea and amen in our life. Lord, we worship you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. As we have come into your presence, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, take over and take control. Let your name be glorified. Take control of every vessel you will use. Use us mightily. Anoint us powerfully. Let the name of God be glorified in every section, in every part, as we teach the scripture, as we pray, as we worship, as we, we sing in ministration, as we preach your word, your name will be glorified. Every heart, every hard-hearted heart, Father, we pray you will soften. And you will come and increase our faith to be able to go to the next level, to be able to achieve what you have destined for us. Father, in the name of Jesus, every soul you will bring here, let them come with faith and let them receive from you. In the name of Jesus, Whatsoever, any thief, any spiritual thief, any, any, any demonic thief, wherever they are hanging, in the roof, in the, in, the, in the foundation, in the corner of anywhere in this church, in this community, Father, we bind them. Because the Bible gives us the authority. He said, whatsoever we bind on heart shall be bind in heaven. Whatsoever we lose on heart shall be lose in heaven. And Lord, we lose every soul, every, every donkey, that's supposed to work for you wherever they are. Hear the voice of God and be free in Jesus' name. Because the Lord they have a need of them. Father, bring them to your sanctuary. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's we thank pray. Him for who He is. Let's thank Him for what He has done. He said, Hallowed be thy name. The name of God is righteous. The name of God is holy. The name of God is powerful. The Bible said, The name of God is a strong tower. And the righteous run out to it, and they are safe. Father, I worship your name. What's the name of God you know? The name of God is Jehovah Jireh. The name of God is Jehovah Rapha. The name of God is Elohim. The name of God is awesome. The name of God is powerful. Oh, Lord, let's worship God. Bless the name of God. Hallowed be thy name. Let thy kingdom come. Let thy kingdom come into my life. Let thy kingdom come into my situation. Let thy kingdom come into everything that I need in the name of Jesus. Thy will be done. Oh, Lord, your will 
for me is to be the head and not the tail. Your will for me is to be able to achieve what you have created me to achieve. Your will for me is not to be a non-entity, but to be who I'm supposed to be. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I have come with faith, even today, to pray unto you, to concentrate my heart, because you have given me that privilege. You have given me that opportunity to pray unto God, to come unto God, to desire from God, to pour my heart. And this is a new month. Coincidentally, we are starting it with the prayer and fasting study. It's not just to study, but it's to pray. I don't know your situation. I don't know what is troubling you, but you can tell Jesus. Remember the song we sang. He said, I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. Jesus can help me. Jesus alone. I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. I cannot bear my bodies alone. I must tell Jesus. Oh, I must tell Jesus. Jesus can help me. Jesus, I'll... God is telling me some people there are some bodies they cannot bear alone. There are some bodies they cannot even share to others. There are some bodies in their heart they cannot tell their neighbor. There are some bodies in their life they cannot even tell their parents. There are some bodies they are carrying. They have been carrying it. It's from generation to generation. Your father goes through it. Your father father goes through it. Your, 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 the people around you, your brother are going through it. But if you tell Jesus, he can deliver you. He said, give us this day our daily bread. Give us these days. What is your daily bread? What are you required to get? What are the things that are necessary for you? Why not tell Jesus? I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. Tell Jesus. Jesus. And if you don't know Jesus, you can know Jesus at this moment. Just say, Jesus, you are my Savior. You died for me on the cross of Calvary. And I must tell you my heart body. I must tell you what I'm going through. I must tell you where I, what I'm fighting within, without. What I'm fighting spiritually. What I'm fighting physically. What I'm fighting emotionally. What I'm fighting even psychologically. Why not tell Jesus? He knows what you are going through. It's not by mistake you are in our midst today. Because God has prepared a place. And he has prepared something for you to be able to tell Jesus. Why not intercede? Let's intercede for our brethren. Let's intercede for somebody. Let's tell somebody. Let's pray for somebody beside you. Pray and say, Lord, this person is going through something. This person is going through trouble. Father, solve his problem. Lord, release him. Release him from, from every trouble, every sorrow, every, every shackle, anything that has been shining them, anything that has been binding them, anything that will not allow them to be free. Lord, I must tell Jesus concerning my neighbor. I must tell Jesus concerning my friend. I must tell Jesus in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray. He said, forgive us all our sin. And forgive us all our sin. For, our, and for also we are forgiven other. Father, in the name of Jesus, is there any bodies of sin in the life of anyone? Is there any weight of sin that are putting people down? Is there anything that is making you? Maybe you have sinned. You have committed sin. There is no sin that you have committed that Jesus has not died for. Jesus shed his blood on the cross of Calvary so that he can wash away your sin. Why not tell Jesus any sin, the one that is going by you, the one that you inherited, the one that has been following you in the name of Jesus. Why not tell Jesus, give, forgive us, forgive us our sin, for we also forgive others in the name of Jesus. And not start praying because you are in the month of August, you are in the month of October, and anything, any temptation, anything that wants to walk your way, maybe you are, your own is pornography, maybe your own is alcoholic, maybe your own is just depression. Maybe your own is emotional attack. Maybe your own is the evil spirit. Maybe your own is just uh, anger. Maybe your own is just different things that you cannot explain. But tell Jesus, tell Jesus in the name of Jesus. Pray. When we pray, God will do something. Because we know 
He said, For in blessing, I will bless you. There is no mountain we cannot. When I say we, I meet Jesus and I. Cause I have Jesus, I need not walk. There is no mountain we can pray for protection. God promised you protection throughout this month. The month is still pretty new. Pray in the name of Jesus. He said, This month, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against my home shall prosper. Every weapon, wherever they are coming from, in the name of Jesus, I refuse them. In the name of Jesus, any weapon fashioned against my success, this month, in the name of Jesus, I refuse them. Every evil tongue, wherever they gather against me, I come against them. Every plans of the enemy, in the name of Jesus, because this is my heritage. Because the Bible says, in blessing, I will bless you. He said, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Wherever I go, let your face shine upon me. Let your favor be upon me. For God will be gracious unto me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, turn, turn my adversity to victory. Turn every problem in my life to, to, to songs. In the name of Jesus, pray. Pray for peace. The month is still new. Pray for direction. Father, direct me. Let me be at the right place at the right time. There are evil. There are distractions. Maybe in the school. Pray. Wherever I go, let the protection of God be upon me. Let the protection of God be upon my children. As they go to school, no evil personality will be able to cause evil against them. In the name of Jesus, as I drive on the highway, Holy Ghost, cover me. The blood of Jesus, cover me. Blood, God, blood of Jesus, cover my doorstep. No sorrow will be able to come upon me. In the name of Jesus, pray. Because he is the heritage of the children of God. No weapon. In this month of October, Lord, go before me. Lord, go before me. Make it a crooked way. Oh, Lord, make them straight. Prophesy to that month. This month is an open door. This month, he said, we break in pieces. The gate of brass. Father, every gate of brass, every gate of air, break them in pieces. Every break gate that has been blocking my way, that has been blocking my opportunity. God is telling me to tell somebody, you have been praying for something. You have been praying for something. And it seems as if the road are blocked. God says the road are open. Pray in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, open the way in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, bring peace. The peace of God. That parcel understanding. Lord, give it unto me. This month, peace will surround me. Peace will surround my home. Peace will surround my work. Peace will surround my business. In the name of Jesus. There is no mountain we cannot climb. When I say we, I mean Jesus and I. Because I have Jesus, I need not. There is no mountain we can. In the next three minutes, I just want you to prophesy. I just want you to say something that comes from your mind. Whatsoever you desire. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Ask and it shall be given. In the next three minutes. I don't know your own trouble. I don't know your own problem. There are some problems you cannot even shout out. There are some problems you just have to keep quiet and just be saying it in your mind. There are some problems you have to cry. You have to say, Abba, Father. You remember that blind man when they were saying, keep quiet. Don't you know you are in a corporate place? Keep quiet. Don't you know Jesus is passing by? He said, no. Oh, thou son of David. Remember when the problem was too much? In the life of Hannah, Hannah didn't keep quiet. He said, oh Lord, even the prophet, even the priest was making fun of her. He said, why are you shouting? I don't know your own trouble. But say it significantly. Say it to Jesus. 
tell him in the next two minutes. Two minutes, one minute is gone. The opportunity is here again. Jesus is here by and he says, say, what do you need? Tell me, because we cannot have answer if we don't ask. We cannot ask. That's why God threw the privilege of prayer and you are in a place of prayer. Tell Jesus, tell him categorically. Make sure you know what you are saying. Make sure you are telling Jesus the right thing. Tell him categorically. Tell him where the problem is. Tell him, I am a man, but Jesus is God. He knows the trouble. He has the solution. Tell him in your own way. One more minute. Tell Jesus. Tell Jesus. Tell Jesus. Tell Jesus. He's passing by. Since Jesus passed by. Since Jesus passed by. And he's passing by now. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Don't be slow. Don't be hungry. Don't forget about the problem. Forget about the trouble. Just tell him, Lord, I need you to solve my problem. You have the issue of blood. Lord, I need you to solve my problem. You have a, your, blind, your eyes is blind. Lord, I need you to open my eyes. You have issue. You have debt on, your, on you. Lord, I need you to, pay, to help me pay my debt. You have pain in your body. Lord, I need you to put, to put healing upon my body. You have trouble at home. Pray. Lord, I need you to put peace. Let there be peace in my marriage, in my home, in the heart of my children, in the heart of my husband, in the heart of my wife. Pray. Let there be peace in my school. Let there be peace in the place of, of my work. Pray. Whatsoever you need. In the name of Jesus. Since Jesus passed by Since Jesus just pass by oh. oh what a difference since Jesus passed by I can explain it and I can not tell you why oh what a difference since Jesus passed by